Well, I think I, the first time I thought about doing a project like this, I was in sixth grade. There's so many possibilities with this, and I really wanted to share this with so many other people. We started building this about three weeks into March. We were approaching the deadline, and we were really worried that we wouldn't be able to do it on time. So we got, all got together, and we, we ordered the big styrofoam cooler. We ordered a GoPro. We got a parachute, and we got all sorts of little gizmos and gadgets and everything we were going to put inside there. And so launch day rolled around uh, on May 9th, and we drove out to Davis. The first thing we did was take out the helium canister and fill it up with helium. One of the most stressful parts about doing this project was launching it. It's always hard filling it with a balloon because it's so fragile. And if it hits the ground, if it touches anything sharp, it'll pop. Uh, the goal was to put in 134 cubic feet of helium into that balloon, so it would rise at five meters a second. When I first saw those images, it was just awe-inspiring. We're just teenagers from Rockland at Whitney High School. However, we're sending these balloons up into the atmosphere, not just in the Earth, but you can see the entire globe when you send it up there. And it just makes you believe that anything is possible on this planet. And like, it's just a surreal experience because we, just small teenagers, can accomplish such a huge task. After we launched it, we didn't get a ping from the GPS for like an hour and a half, which is not supposed to happen. We finally got there, and we're just looking out at this massive lake. <laughs> and the GPS is showing that it landed right in the middle of it. So we didn't know what to do. We were just kind of staring out there. But then this time, we refreshed the page again, and lo and behold, it was 50 miles due north of where we were. And it ended up landing 50 feet up in a tree, which was kind of hard to get. But then we saw this guy with a jeep off the side of the, the road, and he was firing, shooting skeet. He loaded up a shotgun and took a few shots at it. He fired out 15 rounds and hit the parachute. And after about 100 shots, we finally shot it down. Yes! We dropped to the ground and started rolling down the hill that it was on. Seeing the actual things that we did come back to us and seeing our accomplishments in this project was really amazing. We were just tearing off the tape we finally opened the lid and we just saw the contents inside and everything was working properly. This is far beyond what we'd hoped for. We were so happy about this. The footage is incredible and it really kind of opened our eyes to what's possible. 